random variables. A real valued function x whose values are determined by an outcome of an experiment is called random variable. A random variable can be divided into two parts. One is discrete random variable, another one continuous random variable. A discrete random variable is, that is a random variable which can take finite number of values or countably infinite number of values is called a discrete random variable. Continuous random variable means a random variable which take all the possible values in a given interval is called continuous random variable. And formula is for discrete and continuous random variables. In a discrete random variable, the probability mass function P of Xi, the probability mass function P of Xi always greater than or equal to 0 and sum of the probability is 1. In the continuous random variable, probability density function f of x is always positive and integral minus infinity to plus infinity f of x dx is equal to 1. And now, in the discrete random variable, p of a less than or equal to x less than or equal to b is sig summation x equal to a to b p of x. And correspondingly, in discrete continuous random variable, P of A less than or equal to X less than or equal to B, it is integral A to B F of X dX. And here P of X is less than A, it is minus infinity to plus infinity, sigma P of X. And P of X less than or equal to A is integral minus infinity to A F of X dX. Suppose if P of X is greater than A, sigma A to infinity P of X in the discrete random variable, and in the continuous random variable, P of x greater than or equal to A is integral A to infinity f of x dx. And the capital F of x, the capital F of x cumulative distribution function. For discrete random variable, it is sigma t less than or equal to x P of t. For continuous random variable, integral minus infinity to x f of x dx and expectation of x, e of x. For discrete random variable, sigma x p of x. And e of x square is sigma x square p of x. For continuous random variable, e of x is integral minus infinity to plus infinity x f of x dx. e of x square is integral minus infinity to plus infinity x square f of x. In general, that is rth moment, the another name, the rth moment, e of x power r for discrete random variable, sigma x power r p of x for continuous random variable, e of x power r is equal to sigma, sorry, integral minus infinity to plus infinity x power r f of x dx. But here, this is the first moment, this is the second moment. But always the first moment e of x is called mean value. So E of X is always mean. And another one, MGF. MGF means moment generating function. For discrete random variable, MX of T is equal to expectation of E power TX is sigma E power TX P of X. For continuous random variable, MX of T is equal to E of E power TX equal to integral minus infinity to plus infinity E power TX F of X DX. Another important formula is variance of x is equal to e of x square minus e of x the whole square and variance of ax plus b is equal to a square variance of x and next the third one e of ax plus b is equal to a into e of x plus b and the probability of x greater than a can be written as 1 minus probability of x less than or equal to a Suppose here x is greater than or equal to a means here just less than a. And this is a relation between small f of x and the capital F of x. That is small f of x is probability density function. Capital F of x is cumulative distribution function. This is PDF and CDF. And f of small f of x is f dash of capital F dash of x. And this is a conditional probability P of A given B is equal to P of A intersection B by probability of B, provided P of B is not equal to 0. 
and the expectation of x can be written as first derivative of moment generating function at t equal to 0 e of x square is second derivative of moment generating function at t equal to 0.